Hi all and welcome to what will be a very short video. Um, recently during the uh, during the series of videos I'm, I'm attempting to put together about at, at what points we can stop the, the cyber kill chain with the Palo Altos and, and so on and the different and the IPS and everything like that. It occurred to me that actually my lab is in a bit of a mess um, and so I just wanted to just factory reset everything and, and start again because I'm quite a messy worker. So I just thought I'd quickly show um, basically how to achieve that um, in a really quick in a really quick video. So I'm going to log into here. Uh, this will be done over console. So if you're doing this in a hardware firewall, you'll be consoled into the device, um, or you can sort of go in through uh, you can go in through sort of SSH and do this part of it. So on, but ultimately it's going to be on the console of the of the firewall. Okay, so we're just going to go maintenance mode, going debug system maintenance mode, and it's going to tell us we'll disconnect the current session. Yep, and reboot into uh, the system into maintenance mode. Do you want to continue? Yes or no? Yes, we do. So we hit yes, and then it um, it starts to shut everything down gracefully. And as that is going to take quite some time, um, I will pause the video there and I'll uh, I'll start again once it's once it's come back up. Okay, so now when it's come when it comes back up, it comes back up and it, it's into the maintenance recovery tools we've seen here. I'm going to click enter for continue, and here we have the multiple multiple options. So we can get system info, do a factory reset, which is what we're going to do this time. Set FIPCC mode check the disk and so on um, what we're going to do right now is we are going to do the factory reset and it's going to tell me it's going to use the image 10 1 12 which is the image that's on the that's on the box it does give the warning about the scrubbing so you can select scrub as well um, it is a, well I mean it's, it is what it says it is it speaks for itself so scrubbing will iteratively write patterns on the config panel logs and so on this is to basically make it more and more difficult for anybody to try and retrieve the data from your device once it's uh, once it's been moved on um, I would suggest that um, as it says there it could take several hours it does take several hours um, to several days if selected so you could be there for quite some time and that is going to be more for use within high security uh, high security situations where you're going to be disposing of the firewalls using either a disposal service or, or whatever, you know, you, you don't know where those disks are going to end up. So, you know, it, it's, it is best practice to, to do the scrubbing. However, I do know where the disk is going to end up. The disk is going nowhere, so it's going to stay with me. So I'm not going to scrub. Um, and then if we were scrubbing, obviously, we get the, the opportunity to select which type of scrub we want to do. And that's different uh, levels. But we're going to do the factory reset. You'll then see it come up with a, a percentage bar, progress bar like this, and then we get the working underneath. So we know that it is actually doing something rather than just going blank and then you being panicky for the rest of the day. Um, and it shouldn't take too long. Okay, so now that's completed. We've got the option to go back or we can reboot. We are going to reboot. And again, we can see it's sending all the term signals. So it's shutting everything down, stopping the pan software, and then it will reboot into the uh, the freshly restored firewall. Then when we first come back up, we come back up to this screen here. Uh, it won't actually allow us to log in at this point because the services aren't started. All right now, then, depending on how impatient you are or are not, um, you may go through where it says PAVM here, you have uh, PAHDF. Um, at that point, you, you can't log into it. I think it's just none of the services are started or so on. But now we've got PAVM as our prompt. We can log into it using admin, admin. Okay, so as, as a general rule, once you first fire up a, a box now, I think it's 10.0 10 later, possibly 10.1 later. Um, from that point, it doesn't allow you to leave the um the old password on there so it doesn't literally leave the default passwords on there so our old password is admin I'm going to enter our new password which is super secret i'm going to enter it again and hopefully i can remember it okay so the password has been changed um 
also bear in mind as well that um, that has that password isn't committed at this point. So yes, you'll be able to log in and out with it, or so on. Um, but you haven't committed that. So if anything happens, you have to reboot it for whatever it will, it will not be there. Okay. So additionally as well, we had a um, we had a, a static IP previously. Now that's gone as well. So if I do a show system info. We can see now that we've got a new DHCP address as opposed to um, what we had before, which was a which was a static address on this one. So that's how to quickly reset your uh, factory reset your firewall. Well, I say quickly, it's not really a particularly quick um, process, uh, but it generally takes seven minutes to do that, or around about seven minutes to do that in the video. Um, so. Say so that process works on hardware as well, and it was just a quick video because I needed to, I needed to uh, sort out my environment, and um, it got pretty tangled up with all the different demonstrations and so on that I've been doing. Okay, hope that helps, and now I should be um, able fairly soon to get the the second video out on the on the cyber kill chain. Okay, catch you all later.